Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Ryan. Today we're going to be talking about temperature versus lithium battery pack. We're going to be talking about the minimums and maximums of this battery pack. And we're not just going to be talking about it in terms of uh, the battery pack while it's discharging. We're also going to get into the charging min and maximum temperatures. Now I'm pretty excited to be talking about this because I don't believe there's a lot of conversation out there that really talk about the minimum operating temperatures of the lithium battery pack, as well as even the charging temperatures of the lithium battery pack and how performance is related specifically to the battery pack itself. So let's get started and talk about our maximum temperatures. Now it's a very specific number out there that's widely recognized by battery manufacturers as well as retailers that sell the battery packs, and that is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This mark is the absolute maximum threshold that you should stick to when you're operating your radio controlled vehicle. Now, the reason why it is 140 degrees Fahrenheit, it's not that at 141 degrees Fahrenheit, your battery is going to explode, but it does become unsafe. This is the point in temperature where it is becoming unsafe. And as you start to climb up in those temperatures, it will get unsafe very quickly. We need to be making sure that we stick to that 140 degree Fahrenheit absolute maximum. And this will also help the reliability as well as the lifespan of your battery pack. So there's two things, two reasons why we don't want to exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That is one for safety because it becomes unstable after the 140 degree Fahrenheit, which is also 60 degrees Celsius. And we also get into areas where we are degrading the lifespan of the battery pack. Two things that we do not want to happen within our battery pack. So now let's talk about temperature with respect to maximum while charging. So the maximum temperature that I would recommend while charging your battery pack is going to be the 115 Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. Now, those are the two temperatures for both charging as well as discharging your battery pack. Let's talk about what happens as the temperature increases within the battery pack. So as uh, the temperature inside your battery pack increases, uh, something very interesting happens within that battery pack. The internal resistance of the battery pack actually decreases. As it lowers, we expect to get better performance. The, that is true for not just discharging the battery pack in your radio controlled application, but it is also true for charging. If you're charging at that 110, 115 degree Fahrenheit mark, you're gonna get better performance while charging. That means your charge is gonna happen quicker because the internal resistance is going to be lower than if that battery pack happened to be sitting at 80 or 90 Fahrenheit or around the 25 degrees Celsius mark. So you can see that there's a significant difference when it comes to the battery pack versus the wires within electronic components. Electronic components typically as you heat them up, the value of resistance actually goes up. But because the battery is not just an electric component, it's got a chemical reaction that's inside of it. That chemical reaction helps promote lower internal resistances when the chemistry is actually hotter, when the battery pack is warmer to the touch or warmer in temperature. So that is very interesting when we talk about the battery pack. Higher temperatures are actually gonna yield you better performance. So it's good to have a battery pack up around the 140 degree mark if we want excellent performance. Now remember, as the battery temperature begins to climb out of the range of your ambient temperature, let's say room temperature, which is about 25 degrees Celsius or uh, I think somewhere around 80, 75 to 80 Fahrenheit, that is going to be where we can expect maximum lifespan. Right in around room temperature is where you should expect that. Anything above can start to degrade the battery pack. And of course, it's not like for every five degrees you lose you know, a month of lifespan. You will have the battery pack degrade its lifespan faster as your temperature increases. So let's talk about the minimum temperatures of our lithium polymer battery pack. So the minimum temperatures that I would recommend is about the 10 degrees Celsius mark. Now I don't mean stop running it if it's below 10 degrees Celsius. What I'm going to say about this is that at 10 degrees Celsius or lower, that's when you begin to see the differences in terms of performance within your lithium polymer battery pack. At 10 degrees Celsius, you will see a drop in performance in terms of its internal uh, resistance, which does degrade the amount of performance that you get as a power output of the battery pack. Now, another thing that you do see with lower temperatures is a reduced battery capacity. So you have to keep those in mind. As you start to go below the 10 degrees Celsius mark, you cannot have the same timer 
uh, numbers. You, if you had three minutes of time before to run on your RC application, you need to lower that if you're in colder operating temperatures. Now around the zero degree mark is where stuff starts to get quite critical. So I typically don't recommend running the battery when you see temperatures less than zero degrees, unless you're able to do one thing. And that is make sure that you're able to bring that temperature of the battery pack up to about the room temperature mark before going and placing it into the application to run it in something like negative five degrees Celsius. That would be my recommendation. Make sure that you keep that battery pack temperature above zero degrees at all times. Times. You can run in colder temperatures. Um, that's not what I'm saying. Don't run in colder temperatures. I'm just saying monitor that temperature of the battery pack so that you're able to keep it above the zero degree mark. This way you can have a sufficient amount of capacity as well as performance from the battery pack in terms of its internal resistance. Because remember, we just talked about that for higher temperatures. However, you have the flip side of it happening in colder temperatures. As you lower the temperature, you are going to expect higher internal resistance, which means it's going to cause performance issues within your radio controlled application. You are also going to have reduced capacities. So something that if you're not careful about can get you into trouble. Now let's talk about charging the battery pack. Now when we're charging the battery pack, we do not want to charge a battery pack when it is below zero degrees Celsius. That is 30 degree, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It is highly recommended to not ever charge when temperatures are below that threshold. If you do, you do run risks of permanent battery damage. Now you can see that temperature significantly plays a big major role in your lithium polymer battery pack if it's on the hot side, even if it's on the cold side. So everywhere temperature is affecting our battery pack. So my recommendation is operating at room temperature, keeping the battery pack as cool as possible if you're looking for so, you know, good long-term life of that battery pack. Now, if you're looking for performance out of your battery pack, getting up in temperature will help with performance, but it does come at the cost of lifespan. So if you look for that performance, because you have to have a small pack and you're looking for the best possible values that you can get out of that battery pack, you'll probably want to have the internal temperature raised at least in the 120 degree Fahrenheit mark. This will get you that extra bit of performance. You certainly still do not want to ever exceed that 140 degrees Fahrenheit at any cost. So that's really what it comes down to in terms of your, your application when you're talking about lithium polymer battery packs. High temperatures are great for you know performance with respect to do not exceed the 140 degree mark. Uh, colder temperatures are not good for the lithium polymer battery pack. You don't want to be running with a very cold battery pack in your RC application unless you're able to go and heat that up then your radio control vehicle can still be in colder operating temperatures, but your battery pack is going to be warm enough to maintain excellent performance. That's exactly what you want to have happen. So there you have it. That is the conversation that I wanted to have with you guys on battery packs relative to the temperatures that we subject these things to. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next.